Welcome everyone. Hope you all are doing fine. Now, let us start. The first novel we have. The title of the review is, I am doing daily tasks in the wizarding world, and the reviewer gives it a rating of 94. They describe the wizarding world as vast and powerful, with wizards capturing gods and reshaping civilizations. The reviewer emphasizes the importance of knowledge and remaining humble on the path of seeking truth. On to the next novel, we have. The book, Astral Apostle, is about a man named Zhou Qing who discovers the power to travel to different astral realms and creates vessels for his soul to project onto different realms. He realizes that human civilization is not completely ignorant of the existence of other realms and becomes the only being able to travel amongst countless different shapes and forms. It is a clash of fate between multiple dimensional worlds and multi-dimensional factions. The overall rating for the book is 88. On to the next novel, we have. The book titled, Wisher Beware, has a rating of 86 and tells the story of an individual with advanced knowledge in a society that relies on primitive methods. The protagonist becomes a slave in a matriarchal society and the story contains sexual content relevant to the plot. The author notes that it is a rational fantasy with a unique approach to the isekai genre and that the plot progresses slowly at the beginning but builds off previous achievements. Readers are advised to check the reviews for more information. On to the next novel, we have. The Lazy King is a novel about a character who has reincarnated into a different world and becomes a demon lord. The character enjoys being lazy and does not value hard work or virtues like glory and honor. The reviewer gives the novel a rating of 86. On to the next novel, we have. The article titled, Knight's Nomenclature, is rated 88 and describes a futuristic world where technology and fiction collide. It emphasizes the importance of survival and using fire to combat the darkness. On to the next novel, we have. The reincarnated villain makes the heroines tearfully beg for forgiveness is about Lin Yan a heavenly emperor who was defeated by the male lead and ten female leads. He awakens a power to rewrite his past and begins to do so. As a child, he protected and fed one of the female leads, Xiao Yanren, and later married another heroine, Xiao Mei. He rose to become the heavenly emperor, but his actions were misunderstood by the world. The story explores Lin Yan's past actions and how he seeks forgiveness from the heroines. The rating for the story is 86. On to the next novel, we have. The story is about Ji Yu Chong, who transgresses into a fantasy world and becomes the fated villain. Though the world's protagonist vows to take revenge on him, Ji Yu Chong is envied by everyone, including the female lead. He discovers a system dedicated to harvesting from the protagonist and decides to fulfill his destiny as the villain. The reviewer rated it 86. On to the next novel, we have. The novel is called, Kill the Sun, and is set in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity has been destroyed by specters. Nobody remembers the past and specters reign supreme. The story follows a boy with amnesia who grows up in the worst part of Crimson Fungus City and becomes a Zephyx extractor. However, due to gaining powers from a specter in the past, he is ineligible for the prestigious position until a mysterious man arrives to help him. The reviewer gave it a rating of 86. On to the next novel, we have. The protagonist in My Longevity Simulation must navigate a world where immortality is nearly impossible and the immortal realm is plagued. However, he gains a supreme treasure that allows him to reverse time and he embarks on an endless path to immortality. He ascends through politics in his second life but cannot find the immortal path. In his third life, he is ultimately killed by an immortal sword. The protagonist, Li Fan, is determined to achieve immortality and will continue to pursue it throughout his numerous lives. The rating for this simulation is 92. On to the next novel, we have. Swordmaster's youngest son is about Jin Runcandle, the youngest son of a famous swordmaster who gets kicked out of their clan. He meets a tragic fate but is given a second chance by a god who gives him a new power. Now, Jin must use his power for good and become the world's strongest swordmaster while living up to his greatest potential. My rating for this story is 86. On to the next novel, we have. The novel, Top Tier Providence, 
secretly cultivate for a thousand years, follows Han Ju's journey as he discovers he can live his life like a video game in a cultivation world. He spends years re-rolling his cultivation potential and conate providence and decides to cultivate in a low-profile manner for longevity. A thousand years later, he must take action when the immortal realm decides to clean up the mortal world. Han Ju realizes that deities and gods aren't as powerful as he thought. The reviewer gives it a rating of 88. On to the next novel, we have. Doomsday Wonderland is a novel about a woman named Lin Sanju who realizes her boyfriend is trying to kill her as the world devolves into an apocalyptic hellhole. She must survive multiple worlds with different end-world scenarios and meet super-powered crazies. The novel subverts tropes and features non-op characters with a female-friendly label. Humans evolved into post-humans with abilities to adapt to the new world or mutate into duologongs to survive. Lin Sanju struggles to make sense of this new world and just live one more day. On to the next novel, we have. The Reincarnator's Tavern is a crossover fanfiction that incorporates various popular franchises and power systems. The story is set in a unique tavern and follows the adventures of reincarnated characters from different worlds. It contains elements of jump chains and DND and includes three chapters. The author's rating for the story is 88. On to the next novel, we have. Mother of Learning is a story about a teenage mage, Zorian, who is stuck in a time loop after being killed on the eve of a festival. He must unravel the mystery and survive in a world of magic filled with dangers. The reviewer gave it a rating of 88. On to the next novel, we have. Title. Emperor. Can you see stats? Rating. 86. Description. A man who was previously dead but sat on the throne as an emperor for 10 years has come back to life. The player now has the authority of the emperor and can view their status. On to the next novel, we have. Title. Since the Red Moon Appeared. My Rating. 86. Description. The appearance of the Red Moon caused everyone in the world to go crazy, except for the narrator. On to the next novel, we have. The title of the book is, Reincarnation Paradise, and the reader gave it a rating of 92. The story follows a young man named Su Xiao who seeks revenge for his family's death. As he is dying, he is given the opportunity to be reincarnated and becomes a hunter. He travels through different worlds, including One Piece, Tokyo Ghoul, Naruto, and more, completing dangerous missions and leveling up. On to the next novel, we have. The title of the story is, Bringing Culture to a Different World. The rating given by the summarizer is 86. The story is about a demon prince named Joshua who plans to bring Earth's culture to the demon race's new world and conquer it through entertainment, starting with making movies to change people's impression of demons. On to the next novel, we have. The game is called, My Iyashiki Game, and has received a rating of 88. It is likened to, My House of Horrors, but with a better integration of horror and real-life setting. The reviewer hopes that the quality of the game remains consistent over time. On to the next novel, we have. The book, Blood and Fur, is about a new emperor every year in Yowachanka who is sacrificed to the Night Lords at the end of their reign. The protagonist, Iztak, is a sorcerer who plans to take down the Night Lords with the secret spells of the dead. He has a year to find them or he will perish. On to the next novel, we have. The story is about people who play a virtual game called, Lord of Glory, but find themselves unable to log out. They become lords and fight for survival and honor with different powerful troop types. The main character, Ji Chen, has a special troop talent tree that can upgrade and strengthen his troops. There is an unusually powerful Ocean Lord that creates fear among the players. On to the next novel, we have. The story is about a kind-hearted bookstore owner named Lin Jia who is respected and referred to as various titles such as, Demon God's Lackey, and, Shepherd of the Stars, by his customers in another world. He secretly promotes his own work and recommends healing books to customers. His customers seek his professional opinion and share their experiences with him. The description ends with a question mark, implying that there may be an unexpected twist to his story. On to the next novel, we have. 
a man is reborn into the world of Naruto with the Tensigen. He is excited to see how he can use it to navigate the world. His rating for the story is 86. That's the end of this video. I will see you soon in the next video. Happy reading.